morning guys it is about 6 a.m in the morning i am just getting started with this video today i thought i'd film a little what i eat in a day video taking you guys through everything that i eat breakfast lunch dinner maybe give you guys a few ideas a lot of the meals that we eat are kind of paleo based gluten free we do eat a little bit of dairy here and there i also thought in this video i might go over a few little gut health related tips so some food related tips to kind of support your microbiome and overall gut health if you enjoy these kinds of videos don't forget to give it a big thumbs up subscribe to our channel if you haven't already subscribed follow us on the gram otherwise I'm gonna get stuck straight into breakfast because we try to get breakfast done fairly quickly this morning I'm just gonna do some eggs a little bit of potato you'll kind of see as it all comes together first up going to make us some bone broth this morning so if we have bone broth and we've been like ultra prepared I like to have it at breakfast so that it kind of gets it over and done with like in the morning you can kind of tick that off that you've had some bone broth obviously bone broth is really good source of glycine glutamine proline just a lot of amino acids that are really healing for the gut so I'm gonna start off with this bone broth that I made it's a chicken broth it is relatively gelatinous it could have been a little bit more so I didn't probably cook it as long as it could have been but I'm just gonna heat that up on the stove top what I'm gonna do is just scoop off this layer of fat on the top and then I'm just gonna heat that up in a pot and I'm just gonna do some scrambled eggs this morning I'd like to do three eggs per person to try and hit 20 grams of protein in the morning so I'm also cooking for Nick as well One thing that we do like to do is add in a little bit of goat's cheese. It just makes scrambled eggs like super creamy, gets a little bit more calcium in there. But obviously if you don't do dairy, including like goat's dairy, you could absolutely skip this step. Add in some ghee. eggs are done with breakfast I'm also going to pop on like a little bit of this potato salad that I've made a few days ago so this is just really basic white potato parsley onion garlic olive oil vinegar so it's just a really simple little potato salad it's good for adding in some resistant starch so resistant starch is essentially a prebiotic fiber that is really great for feeding our microbiome so you get it when you cook and cool potatoes same goes for white rice as well if you cook and cool white rice and then you eat it cold that's going to be loaded with resistant starch so just a little hot tip to get some prebiotics into your morning and some carbs if you like to have carbs with your breakfast if you guys want the specific recipe for this little like potato salad -y thing it's like very very simple but super tasty at the same time let me know and I can do like a separate little video on that it was just that I already had this like pre-made and then the next thing that I'm gonna pop on is a bit of sauerkraut Again, sauerkraut is a really good source of probiotics, so live probiotics. Try to have some with breakfast every morning. And we're all done. Okay, breakfast is all done and I am going to take Billy out for a walk. It is a little bit rainy today so that's also why this video is going to be super dark but yeah i guess i will see you guys at lunchtime probably looking a fair bit more put together than i am right now so it's a bit later it's about mid-morning at the moment so just going on to 10 30. i am having a little snack a little mid-morning snack just some apple and brazil nuts so i just have one cut up apple i sprinkled that with a bit of cinnamon it like makes it a little bit more tasty and then i have three brazil nuts over here that kind of got covered in cinnamon as well but i try to have some brazil nuts every day because they're a really great source of selenium so you can meet your selenium rdi just with two brazil nuts a day so they're kind of like a little supplement food also good to have a source of fat with your fruit but yeah so I'm going to have a little apple snack so it is just about lunchtime. I'm gonna make a start. Today for lunch, I'm gonna do like a nourish bowl. I've been really back into like my nourish bowls. So just like simple salad bowls. You can throw almost anything in, but I'm gonna make a start by cooking up some sweet potato. So I'm gonna do the sweet potato in the air fryer. I find that especially for lunches, if you're somebody who is working from home, the air fryer is such a great little tool just because it really cuts down oven time. So for example, if you're 
you're at home, you're working and you want to make like a quick salad but you want some like extra yummy things in there, like sweet potato, hot sweet potato, you can really just pop it in there, set and forget. It's not like the oven where it takes a really long time and you kind of have to be like keeping an eye on everything, you know? So you can just put everything into the air fryer, it'll beep when it's done and then you can have your lunch. Or obviously you can cook up some potato at the beginning of the week on the weekend to add to like salad bowls throughout the week. But anyway, it's a lot of talk about sweet potato. I am going to get going. So the sweet potato is nearly done and I'm gonna make a start on the rest of this salad bowl. Starting off with some leafy greens. Then I'm just gonna chop up a little bit of red onion. I'm also gonna pop in about a quarter of an avocado. I had some left over. You can obviously scoop avocado out, but if you're gonna try and get the aesthetic avocado, the trick is to peel it. So the other thing that I'm going to pop into this salad is some artichoke hearts. So artichokes, again, are a really good source of prebiotic fiber. You can buy these in the preserved sort of section of your supermarket. These are just in water. So I'm gonna pop maybe three or four of those into this salad. And if you haven't had an artichoke before, this is what they look like. Pop them in. For protein today, I'm going to be doing some tinned salmon with the bones in. If you're doing salmon, you want to make sure that the bones are in just because that's going to give you so much more calcium. But if you're somebody that hates eating tinned fish, specifically like salmon and fish that are just a little bit more tricky, like tuna is usually an easy one, salmon not so much. So if you struggle with that, this is what I've been doing lately to make fish just more palatable in general. So I'm gonna mix it with some of this undivided Food Co good fat mayo. So this is a mayonnaise that's made on olive oil with not too many other weird ingredients. It's all pretty straightforward. So I'm gonna mix that all up. I'm gonna take like a good tablespoon of this good fat mayo, some salt and pepper, and then I'm just gonna give that a really good mix up. And there we have it. Sweet potato is done. So I'm gonna add in like half of this amount. So lunch is all done. So we have our salad leaves, red onion, which is actually another really great prebiotic, our artichoke hearts, avocado, sweet potato, and of course our salmon mixed with some of this mayo. I'm probably gonna pop a little bit more mayo on as like a dressing, but you could also do like an olive oil, apple cider vinegar sort of mix for an easy dressing. I'm gonna go eat. So it is afternoon and I'm having a little snack of some frozen organic blueberries and some yogurt. For anyone who is interested, this is the brand of yogurt that we buy. So it's the Baramba Organics full fat yogurt. So I never get like the skim fat free one. So this is like a non-homogenized yogurt that we get from our health food store. Anyway, so that is the yogurt that we eat. But of course, if you can't do dairy, you can always swap that over for coconut yogurt. Alrighty, so we have finally arrived at dinner. Tonight we are keeping things relatively easy. So we're gonna do some grass-fed sausages as our protein sauce tonight. And then in terms of veggies, we're going to saute some oyster mushrooms with some zucchini as kind of like a little side. And then we're also gonna have that with some cauliflower and white potato mash. So I've actually already gotten started with our mash. So just chopping up half of a cauliflower with about five potatoes. So I've just got them boiling in the pot at the moment and I'll mash them eventually. When they're done, we're actually gonna try something a little bit new. We haven't tried it ourselves, but we had it a lot when we were in Croatia. So we're going to cut up some chard because we have this beautiful rainbow chard tonight. I'm gonna slice up the chard like really thin and kind of fold it through the mash so that it kind of wilts down. We were overseas in Croatia and it was really nice and like a really interesting way to like get some more greens into like a potato mash. Anyway, so we have our potato and cauliflower boiling at the moment. While that's boiling, I am going to start preparing the stir fried veggies. So I'm just gonna chop up our zucchini, some of our oyster mushrooms and get the chard ready to fold through the potato when we're done. And then we'll get started on sausages and all of that, but you'll see what we do. And we are here with 
with Nick, by the way. Hello. Just adding in some garlic and oregano. Potato and cauliflower have finished boiling and we are going to try something and we'll see if it works. So we have our chard in a colander and we're just gonna pour the hot water from those veggies over the top to see if that kind of helps speed up the wilting down process. Okay, so just adding in some grass-fed butter, then some salt and pepper. So we're going to pop in and fold through the chard. So we made also buco two nights ago, so we're going to turn some of the sauce from that into a super yummy gravy. It doesn't look very nice, but it will be nice. And we have some sausages going over here. So, you should explain what you're doing. I'm gonna thicken the gravy, so I'm gonna use some tapioca starch. <laughs> <laughs> so, to thicken it up, Nick's just gonna do two teaspoons of the tapioca flour and mix it with water before he puts it into the liquid, just to avoid clumping. So, we're gonna mix this with a little bit of water and then put it into the gravy. And dinner is done. Looks a little bit strange. So we have our mashed cauliflower potato chard at the bottom. We've got some zucchini and our oyster mushrooms. And then of course our grass-fed beef sausages with the gravy that Nick made, which has little bits of carrot in there from the osso that we had the other night. But yeah, that is our dinner. So we are going to eat and it is pelting down rain at the moment too. Okay, finished dinner. And one last thing before we kind of wrap up this what I ate today video. We have some Panna Organic double chocolate ice cream. So this is a coconut based ice cream, but this one is so yummy. It's got like seriously good bits of chocolate flake in there. So that pretty much brings this little what I eat in a day to a close. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give this one a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. Follow us over on Instagram. And otherwise, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.